Our top story at 5 o'clock, all hands on deck. From the White House to Independence Mall, today leaders promising new solutions to get our gun violence crisis under control. Good evening. Thanks for joining us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Jim Rosenfield. I'm Tracy Davidson. President Biden announced six executive actions on gun control today, his first since taking office. NBC 10's Lauren Make joins us now. Lauren, Philadelphia is watching this carefully because of the violence that we're seeing here. Tell us more. Yeah, Tracy, President Biden's moves on guns are actually later than he had promised, and they could be just first steps. He called the violence today an international embarrassment, but he would need bipartisan support for some of his goals. Enough prayers. Time for some action. President Joe Biden today urging Congress to act on gun violence and taking action on his own. This is an epidemic, for God's sake. And it has to stop. In a Rose Garden announcement, the president introducing moves including requiring so called ghost guns put together in pieces to have serial numbers and background checks, a new report on firearm trafficking, and requiring a fee to buy stabilizing braces that can make a pistol more powerful. I want to see things happen on the ground for the community because people are scared. Parents are scared. Anton Moore founded Unity in the Community to address gun violence. He's also a ward leader, and we walked with him in this South Philadelphia neighborhood last year as he worked to get Joe Biden elected. Now he is in there. Um, is this the stuff that you were counting on him doing? Yep, yep. We, we, we have to face the music. Gun violence is wiping our kids out at an alarming rate. Moore says being able to trace ghost guns, a known issue in Philadelphia, could make a difference. Ghost guns is something that's real that young people are using. Uh -huh. So being able to identify that, it, it, it mean, <laughs> it's going to help. The city dealing with a devastating increase in shootings during the pandemic. We've taken twice as many guns off the street this date than this date last year. Twice as many. Mayor Jim Kenney welcoming help from the federal government. Given the size of the problem here, are these things really going to make a difference or do you need something big? Well, I, what, I would like to, what I would like to do is take every, every assault weapon out of the hands of every person. A renewed assault weapons ban is something President Biden cited as a goal, but he'd need Congress for that and other things. And I'm willing to work with anyone. To get these done. A key to movement in the split Senate could be Pennsylvania Republican Senator Pat Toomey, who's been open to certain background check legislation. Toomey today saying that lasting progress is made through the legislative process and that he appreciates President Biden's expressed willingness to work with both Republicans and Democrats to achieve the goal. He said, if done in a manner that respects the rights of law abiding citizens, I believe there is an opportunity to strengthen our background check system so that we are better able to keep guns away from those who have no legal right to them. Now, while Senator Toomey said his staff is looking over the Biden plans and he left the door open to working with him, there is some fierce, fierce pushback here. The NRA saying President Biden is dismantling the Second Amendment. President Biden today said it's a phony argument to say his proposals infringe on the Second Amendment. Tracy. All right, Lauren, thanks. In addition to the rules for firearms, President Biden is also looking to use money to help tackle gun violence. Where would that go? Yeah, Tracy, the Attorney General Merrick Garland said today that he is going to make a billion dollars in funding available. This could come in grants to groups working to reduce gun violence. Now, we don't yet know exactly how that will be parceled out, but the man I talked to who runs that group in Philadelphia says it's crucial to get folks working on the ground this money. His group, for example, wants to start a carpentry apprentice program that he thinks will help kids give kids some options and a job. Tracy. All right, Lauren, thanks.